Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I hope that you will like what you see and subscribe below for more. In today's video, I am going to be just sharing some things that I've recently made, but I'm going to do it a little different and I'm going to try them on. And while I'm trying them on, I'll just kind of talk about the fabric that I use. Um, the sizing that I cut if I can remember it <laughs> um, and just kind of give like a quick review of it so I'm really excited this is a new type of video that I'm trying out so if you all like it definitely let me know down in the comments and oh also I'm not getting like fully dressed up like I'm gonna take a blog photo <laughs> I'm just trying it on okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started all right so here's the first garment that I recently made and that is just a simple Alden cami in my opinion, it's just like one of those staple pieces, especially for like spring and summer. So I made this one right here. This is from a crepe material. It's from Melanated Fabrics. We had like less than a yard left. So I was like, let me get that. <laughs> uh, anytime we have like a yard of fabric, it's like cami, cami. So I knew I was going to make a cami with it. 100% polyester crepe. Um, super lightweight. Love this print. Perfect for spring and summer. So yeah, just a simple Alden cami here. That is it. And I will probably wear it now. When I styled it for the blog, I had on some faux leather shorts, but I'll probably just put it right here. It's a mirror right here. So if you see me, oh, you can see the mirror. <laughs> I'm like, it's a mirror right here. <laughs> um, but I'll probably just put it like this uh, with some flats. And for me, I don't love uh, showing all of my arm, uh, but it is what it is. It's hot, okay? So the arms are out. I'm working on, on toning them, okay? I do a little lifting every now and then. I need to get a little consistent on that, but whatever. I do have full arms, so sometimes sleeveless garments kind of make me a little, uh, and I'm always cold anyway, so I always have on a cardigan, but whatever arms are out because it's hot so again this is the first one right here cute little summer cami love it <laughs> all right so here's the second cami and i just tucked it in i would probably wear this with like some black flats um or some sneakers this fabric is 100 percent rayon it's from melanita fabrics this fabric is still in stock so if you're interested hop on over and it's in another colorway also but yeah just a super quick and easy ogden cami i love these so here's what it's looking like in the back. All right, so that's the cami. Let me try on the next piece. So this right here, it, I would not wear this together, but I made this a couple months ago and I just never photographed it. Um, this is, let me get a little closer so you can see the fabric. This is a cotton jacquard. We have this in stock at Melanie Fabrics. I love this. But I just wanted to make a super easy jacket with it. So it has some front pockets here. It's no lining, it's just the facing. Um, but yeah, it's just a super, let me see if I can, you can see how long it is. It comes about mid thigh. But I don't know, I haven't worn it. I guess I could put like a cream cami underneath with some jeans or something or I don't know but I feel like this could be this could be something with a cream cami maybe some jeans or even dress it up with a nice pair of slacks or something but I just never photographed it <laughs> but I have it I think with the sleeves rolled up a little bit more instead of having them straight down you know I think if you push them up a little bit that could be cute with maybe like some gold bracelets or whatever cute little cami either some jeans and dress it down or some nice slacks put it on with some cute sandals heels i think it's gonna be cute but i made this just haven't photographed it yet i really don't know what i want to wear with it until now <laughs> now i'm like oh i can put it on with a cami <laughs> so yeah i love this little jacket i don't remember the pattern at all but i would have to kind of see if i can find it like i said i made it back in february and i just it was either February or March that I made it, um, but I just didn't photograph it. So I have to find the pattern, but I think this is super cute. Children, I have them, four. Let's go to the next look. 
All right, y'all, next up is this dress. This is a Mimi G for Simplicity pattern. Um, I'll make sure I put the number down here, but I already know it's a sew along for it on her YouTube channel if you want to make it. But this is just a favorite. I love this dress. I'm trying to remember if I pinned it when I took photos in it. Maybe I did pin it. But anyway, I love it. So this is what it looks like. The fabric, I believe this is a rayon. If not, I'll be sure to put the exact contents for you. But it is from Melanated Fabrics. I do believe we have more in stock. And we may have two other, not may, we do have two other colorways of this print. But I just love it. It's super quick and easy to just put on. I'm trying to get on my tippy toe so you can see the length. But So here's the back. And I would put this on in the blog. Uh, I put heels on, but in every day I would just put on some quick little sandals. I would definitely pin this because it's not really staying for me right now. So I probably pinned it um, for my photos. But I mean, it's just if you love dresses, if you love wrap dresses, this is one to make. It has elastic right here at the waist, elastic casing. It has like an angular shaped hem cuff on the sleeve I don't remember the sizes so if I have a blog post for it definitely go check out the blog I definitely wrote the sizes there but yeah love this dress super cute and super easy to wear all right let's put on the next dress all right next up is this little yellow dress right here I love this dress it has major twirl so if you're into twirling yes for this dress it has the little I keep saying, is it goddits, goblets, goblets, not goblets. It has those inserts. <laughs> um, and it just gives the skirt just, you know, twirl, twirl, twirl. I love that. Uh, it has elastic casings down here on the sleeves. It has elastic right here at the waist also. There's no closure on this, so you can just pull it over your head. I made this out of our 100% Lyocell in the color Mustard. From Melanated Fabrics, of course. <laughs> uh, we have this in like a rust. We have it in a black. We have it in other colorways. So I'll link it below. You can go check out other colors. But I just love it. Twirl, twirl. Yes. <laughs> now, this like this is a no-go for me. So when I took photos in it, I did put on my little leopard belt. Which is probably how I would always wear this with the little belt I had to poke another hole in this thing okay hold up and get the belt on <clears throat> so this is how I wore it for the blog and uh this color I love it now one thing I will say I felt the sleeves were like a little short you know I mean, they, I mean, I guess it's okay, but I feel like they were a little short. I probably should have lengthened them, um, but I just love it. Like I said, it doesn't have any closures, so no zippers, no buttons. It just pulls right over the head. You can belt it, and you're good to go, and you just look, you look good, okay? You look good, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I would probably go back in here and put, like, some thread loops to hold the belt in. Um, one thing I will say about this dress is with the inserts, that's the most time consuming part, but after you get those in, you're done. But yeah, so cute. There is a blog post for this dress, BrittanyJJones.com. You can head on over there and read more details about sizing. All right, on to the next look. All right, so this is the next dress that I recently made. Um, this is a PDF pattern from Sew to Grow. It's called the Sydney Shirt Dress. What I like about this uh, shirt dress is that it's not 18 buttons, okay? <laughs> it's literally just one. It has a collar option. It has different options. So you have different sleeves, different pockets, different collar options. So this is the collar that I went with. Again, it's no closures. Another one of those dresses you just pull over and go. But to add a little bit of something on the blog and when I photographed it, I did belt it because... I'm always here for a belt, <laughs> so let me put this on. I have children, so yeah. I don't remember how this belt goes. 
I got it from Amazon and it's so tricky. Hold on, let me figure out how to, I think it went like here. Girl, this belt is so tricky. Here. I don't remember, I'm gonna have to pull up the thing to see how to belt this. Girl. You know what? Y'all get y'all get the idea. Okay. This is it. <laughs> when you belt it, I think it looks super cute. Hold up, that's tight. I can't breathe down. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's cute. Don't mind the belt. I don't know how to tie it. I have to look at it on Amazon again. But I love it. It's so comfortable to wear. Super cute. I just love this. This fabric is from LA Finch Fabrics. I had it in my stash for like two years, but I, I just knew that a vertical like print would be really great for this dress. So I went ahead and cut into it and yeah, I love it. It fits really good. I love this one. <laughs> Head over to the blog again for the exact size that I cut. And uh, I will link below this shirt dress pattern. Again, it doesn't have 15 buttonholes and buttons for you. So if that's your jam, check this pattern out. Well, that is all for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can let me know below and definitely let me know if you enjoy this type of kind of what I made video with me actually trying on the garments. I can definitely create more because I had a lot of fun with this. All right, y'all, that is it. I will see you in the next one. Blessings, everyone. Bye.